Alright fuckers, welcome back, Son of Scotland 90, bringing you some more FIFA 18, just doing at midnight there. So let's waste no time and get stuck in. As you know, I've already done a Hearts career mode, but I'm doing two career modes. I left up to you guys to fault man, I did a poll, put five teams in, and the winning team was Schalke. So I'm going to be doing a Schalke career mode. I actually did a Schalke career mode last year in FIFA 17. I signed some good players, um, I had a good squad, the only problem was I was actually shit at the game, so we didn't do too well, but hopefully, new game, new season, new life, new, new feds, new, new fucking career, hopefully we can get after a better start this time. So, the goal with Schalke, basically, uh, my short term goal was to just try and get Schalke to be, try and turn them into one of the better teams in the Bundesliga. In terms of squad, I mean, they're probably up there. They're probably maybe like fourth or fifth best squad in the Bundesliga. So that is kind of my aim, just to try and finish top four, get them into Champions League, get them back into Europe. And over time, long-term goal, obviously, is to dethrone Bayern Munich at the top and maybe try and do something in Europe to try and win a Champions League. So here you can see, that is the board expectations. Domestic success, two, pretty high. Continental success is only a medium. Like I said, I'm not really going to worry about Europe just yet. Obviously, I want to qualify for Europe, but I know that we're a long, we're a wee bit away, let's put it that way. We're a few seasons away before we can actually realistically try and do anything in the Champions League. Brand exposure, too, is a high. Financial, medium, youth development is pretty high also. So, when founded as West Falia, Schalke, Schalke's 04 colours were still red and yellow, and were only changed to blue and white in 1924. They have been crowned champions seven times. We're going to make it eight. Trust me, we're going to make it eight. I know you're thinking, Jamie, you stop uploading fits after like a couple of weeks, but I'm not this time. I'm going to complete it. I swear to God, man, I'm going to finish this thing. We're going to make it eight. And I've won the domestic cup on five occasions. Schalke is a district or as a district of the city. Gelens Kirkenskin. I probably, my German's not the best, man, so forgive me on that. I've just pure butchered that city, but fuck it. You know, <laughs> nobody died. Uh, which has been a big history in coal mining. Coal mining, huh? Uh, the fans still sing a minor song at every home game. I need to learn this minor. I know what I'm going to do, guys. I'm actually going to learn what this minor song is, and then later in the season when we're playing at home, I'm going to start singing it. I can't do you know I mean? That's, and then I'm like getting right in there, you know I mean? Right into the thick of the action. Feel the passion. Feel the burn. Feel me fire fucking 10 goals into the back of the net. That's what it's all about. Transfer budget 37.3 million, club worth is 609 million. The ground is the Fetlands Arena, and you see we've got some nice kits. We've got like a kind of dark blue home and a white and like a turquoise kind of light blue um, sleeves and stuff like that. So the name, this is the boring part really, just enter my name, son, son, big son, this son, um, Scotland. Obviously, we'll just try and pick one of these generic. I always go with the face that looks like messy because, I mean, all the other guys look fucking old, and I know I'm get, kind of getting old, like, but I'm not that old. I'm still relatively. I mean, I, I can pass, like, I, I, I've not. I don't have a bloody uh, pa uh, bus pass yet, so I mean, I'm, I'm still relatively. I'm on, I'm on the right side of. I'm on the right side of 50, so we'll, we'll put it like that. We'll put it like that. Uh, let's try and find my flag. Where is it? Scotland, aye. Big Scotland. Here we go. Uh, so match difficulty legendary half length six minutes sterling courtesy download European competition for season yes we won't be in it but we may be in the Europa League we might just be in the, who have we got in the Champions League from here we've got Dortmund we have Bayern Munich we have Hoffenheim and is that it we only have three teams ah, we've got Red Bull Leeds Big yeah so we've got the name. And in the Europa, Euro League, I don't think we're in that either, are we? I don't see us. We've got, we've got Ned Defe here, Ned Defe there. We've got Cologne. We have Freiburg. We have, is that it? What's that? I think that's it. Uh, Bear, Herford, Berlin. Yeah, so I don't know what Schalke done last season, but they must have finished the, the European places. So, again, no European football for... Shall I didn't have any European football for Harps and my other career mode either, so but you know it is what it is. It gives me a chance to concentrate on the league, so I'm not gonna to complain too much about that. Here we go. 
latest squads have been downloaded. Good, good, good. Yeah, the, the interactive transfer negotiations, they are kind of cool. I like them, but at the same time, I do think they could, I think they could just get a bit lame and boring after a while, you know what I mean? It's like, you see it for the first time, it's pretty cool, but they, they do seem to drag on. I noticed when I was doing my heart's career mode, I, I started to skip it, I was holding in the button and I was just trying to, you know, end it because why, why is it, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a cool feature, you know what I mean? But it's like once if once you've done it once, you've kind of done it like a lot of times. I mean, it's kind of like fucking sex, isn't it? Like, you have it once and then it's kind of shit, you know? Like, <laughs> no, no, not really like that, but you know what I mean? It's like, uh, fuck it, you know what I mean? It's just something that happens once and then, like, uh, the novelty of it, like, uh, wears off, so fuck, that's what it is. Anyway, they go. Lukaku has just joined Man United at 71 million. We will uh, save the career mode, then we will get stuck in, and uh, hopefully we can bring in some good players. So, basically, episode one. This is how I always try and structure my career modes like like uh, uh, like this episode one. I kind of just go over the it's like the introduction, kind of go over the squad, look at the transfer budget. We look at the, the like I said the squad and what areas we need to improve in. Episode two, a normal go try and make the transfers happen, bring in a few players, maybe sell a few players. Then episode three is normally where the good shit goes doing and we get stuck in to some games. So we've been invited to a pre season tournament. I'm just not really digging these pre season tournaments, so I'm going to decline it. And I declined it in my heart's cream one, I'm going to decline it in this one. Just my uh, personal preference, just don't really see the need for them. They, they actually count as your career, and I just don't really want friendlies counting as my career one. No, I mean, I just don't think they should. So that's basically my main reason for uh, not doing it. We've got the scout introducing himself, the assistant manager, he's talking about the scout. We're delighted to have you on board and are looking forward to seeing you succeed at our football club. Yes, yes, yes. Brand exposure, uh, domestic success, how well the team does, and uh, so you know we'll have a look at this and we'll see what they expect me to do. Youth development is pretty high. Grow two youth academy players by at least ten overall points as soon as they have grown. Play them in five matches either as part of the starting eleven or as coming on as a sub. Sign two youth two players to a senior team. Uh, blah blah blah. We can try and do that. Brand exposure. Sign one crucial team player. Assign to R K. Uh, we can, I can do that, gain 39.6 from shirt sales, I don't know, I think we'll be able to do that, seems like fair enough. Financial, finish the season with 17.6 unspent allocated funds, okay. Um, Bundesliga finish mid-table, fuck. Definitely can do that, man. Well, if I can't do that, I just, I deserve to be sacked, you know. Probably, I probably will be sacked, but <laughs> I will try my best. Uh, the poke will reach uh, like around 16 at the top again. It seems very reasonable, man. The board's been very kind to me here. Long term, within three seasons in the Bundesliga, finishing the Champions Cup. Right, well, I actually, I, I planned to finish in the Champions League places the first se- uh, within the first season. So, I mean, they only want me to do it within three years. I plan on doing it this year. Uh, Content of success. We are not in Europe, so they don't have any objectives for me to do that just yet. We've got some important transfer to and we've got some short sales, blah, 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 blah. Right, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will look at the squad, which I always do. I'm trying to figure out the best way to actually look at the squad here. Am I in the right bit? Player stats. Oh, fuck, I'm in the wrong area here. Uh, they've changed the settings, so it's just going to get me a, used, going to be a while to so get used to this. Um, where the hell are we? Squad, 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 club squad. Um, squad hub. This could be the one. Yeah. So here we go. We'll just we'll start with the goalkeepers first, and then we'll go. So we have three keepers. We've got Langer, Nubel, and Farman. Ralph Farman. He'll undoubtedly be our number one. Eighty four rated. Twenty eight years old. So he's going to be around for you know probably another decade at least. We don't have to worry about a goalkeeper. So good news there. Right back of what Koki. It's only right back we have. He's 30 years old, 80 overall. He'll do this for a few seasons, but it probably is an area where we should be looking to um, you know, maybe in the season or two, try and bring in somebody, or maybe even straight away bring in someone younger who can develop while Koki obviously will still be our first choice, but he's not going to be around forever. He is 30, and sooner or later his stats are going to go down. But Naldo. 34 years of age, probably our best centre-back, or one of our best centre-backs at least. 
like I said, 82, but he is 34. How much longer does he have in the game? We do not know. His contract expiring to a month, but we'll try and sign him for another season. Big, strong, tall centre-back. Basically, it's what you want in a centre-back, but it's just, just a shame he's not 24. He's 34, but fuck it. Old guys need love too. We'll give him some love. We've got Nastasic, 24 years age. That's age I was wanting uh, Naldo to be, so there you go, man. At least someone's 24. 80 overall, he'll probably improve. Good, uh, good defender. Won't be, probably won't be starting for us, but could be a first eleven player in the future. But um, better, he's a prospect. Keher, sporadic player. We've got Insua, rotation. We've got Howdies, uh, Howets, uh, whatever the fuck you call him. Benedict Howets, A3. He's wearing a Juventus kit. He's on loan at Juventus. So I was not aware of this. Why would we loan out one of our better? Or why would we loan out our best centre back? That makes zero sense to me. Looks like we will be playing now doing the static shit. At least we'll get him back at the end of the season, but just I'm shocked that he's on loan at Juventus. Very strange decision, didn't know about that. And left back we've got Obasigika. So uh, we only have one left back, one right back. We're definitely going to have to venture out in the transfer market and see if we can change that. Certainly have to do something about it, that's for sure. Uh, CDMs, we've got Stamboli, 77 overall. He's 26 years of age, decent player. We've got Johan Gies. I really like this guy, he is pretty slow, but again, he's on loan at Sofia. Why? Why? He's only 23, he will improve, 77 overall. I suppose, if I look on the bright side, it's a, it is another player that we're going to have come back to, but I would have liked to have had this guy, you know, from the get-go. Definitely, would probably would have tried to put him in my starting 11, but we'll just have to wait till he comes back, so looks like he's going to be away for a season. Right mid, we've got Hemmerich. He's on loan at Hoffenberg, I think he looks pretty shit. You know, Bochum, he looks shit, man. I'm not too bored. He can stay on loan there if you want, make it permanent. Never come back. Leave me for 20 years. I do not care. We've got Skopf, uh, Alexandro Skopf, 77 overall, 23 years of age. Could be decent. Harad, 71 overall, 20 years of age. Could develop into a good player. Kala Raike, this guy, I think, joined for Wolfsburg. Cannot pronounce his name for shit, but he looks decent. 29 years old, 78 overall. So I we think we're all right for the right mids there. We'll probably have to make any uh, moves in that department. We've got centre mids, New Goretzka, 82. Going to be one of our key players for sure. He'll be in the first 11. He'll be right in the middle of that pitch. 22 years of age. This guy could definitely improve, man. Um, could go up to probably about 86, 87. We'll have to see. Got um, Bentaleb, former Tottenham player, I believe, 22 years of age, 88, 88, 88 overall. I wish he was 88. 80 overall. Surprised to see Tottenham want to go, but again, might start for us. He might not. I don't know, but good player. Uh, we've got McKinney, and that is our last centre mid. So, uh, we don't, we're not that stacked, to be honest, in the middle of the field. Maybe actually bring him in field or two. Left mid, apparently we've only got one, Tech Petty, uh, 64 overall, and he's out in loan, so <laughs> Max Mayer, good player in the cam role, he'll definitely be starting for 79 overall, 21 years of age. Shall do have some very good young players here, Mayer and Goretzka, probably the two key players to look out for. We've got this guy, Donis Avagitis, 72 uh, cam role up front, got Berg Stoller, 78 Austrian. 20 years of age. We've got Reese, 64 overall, 19 years of age. We've got Mbolo, this guy is a rated, exciting prospect, should be good, 20 years of age. Got loads of pace, very strong, might probably be a starting player actually, 76 overall, definitely going to improve, going to be a great player in the future. We've got De Santo, 75 overall, 28 years of age. We've got Wright on loan at Freiburg. Got Conor Blanca as a left wing. I forgot about uh, Conor Blanca. Definitely a key player there. He's played for Sofia. His uh, ratings went down a lot. I think he was 84 in last year's game. So he's took a big hit. 79 overall. Don't know why they've brought him down that much actually. Very strange. But it is what it is. People have done it. Don't know why they've done it. We'll just have to wait and see. So this, look at the formation. It's weird. It's a 3-4-3 three, three flat. <coughs> Ah, pardon me, man. Is this the game? I don't know if this is the formation I'm actually going to play. I might change it. I don't, I just do not like the look at that formation. It might be the formation that Schalke play, but 
I don't want to play it, you know what I mean? I think I might just go with this. My default, this is my kind of, I always go with this formation there. So I think we'll just go with that and as long as I want. And then on ball up front, play Mayer there and the Camo, Goretzka, Ospika, Kier, we've got Koke, where's Koke? Now doing the Stasic. Play this wee guy, bring him in somewhere. And that'll probably be, that's probably going to be my starting 11. As for where we need to look, um, we, you know, like I said, I'll look at the left back and right back situations. We could maybe bring in, I don't know, maybe even bring in a striker actually, because I don't think it's Bergstaller and Distanto. They're not really up too much, but let me know guys down below, who do you think I should bring in? What areas do you think I should focus on? And do you think this formation will work? I don't know. I could I, mean, I could possibly recall the players on loan, but I don't like doing that. I find it a bit unrealistic. The club's loaned them out. I, you know what I mean? They're not going to be called back in real life, so I'm probably not going to call them back. Just have to wait till the end of the season to get them back. But I, I suppose if I did bring in a striker, it would, it would uh, give me one of those achievements. The objectives, I would uh, meet the objective of the club who they want me to bring in a, a crucial player. Fuck! So why can't they bring FIFA at a reasonable time? They bring it out at midnight when everyone's fucking tired indeed, you know what I mean? Like, why? Why do this to me? Fuck. Right, anyway, so there you go. Let me know down below who you want me to bring in. Uh, could, yeah, like I said, I could bring in a striker. Who will I bring in? I don't know. Let me know down below. This has been the Shout Career Mode here on FIFA 18, man. Really excited for this. Next episode, we'll be bringing in players. We'll be selling players. Man, it'll be like a roundabout. While we get the best here, there's only one way to find out, guys. That's join me back on the Son of Scotland 90 channel. But until next time, peace.